Welcome back, Redeemers. Um, this is Redemption Reacts. My name is Keith. I'm Nick. Lenny Da. And I'm Curtis. You having fun? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, today we got BTS Cypher Part 2. Um, you see the thumbnail. Like Nick will say, you know, we'll be hitting four. All right, let's get right into it. DNA. Sir, some more track. Prime time homies. I don't get it. Okay. He's snap on that. Be change. Ooh. I already know where he's going with it. This sound nasty, bro. Want you to eh, eh. Anime bar. Bro, he had to spit a 50 on that. Again, the best word. Uh, breathe, my God, breathe. 
That breath control is disgusting. You earned that breath, god damn. Yeah, you earned that. You earned yeah, that. He that might have just did that aesthetically. Uh, just assumed I'm something. not even a. Uh, I don't even. Yeah, I, I don't know who. I'm not even one. a uh, <laughs> a fast flow type of boy. I like my shit to breathe. You know, sugar got that <laughs> off. You said um, you don't know who off got vibes, bro. Because like the first verse was sound like the beat sound like it was made for hope, and then like cause so we killed it right. Then RM came in and the beat switched and it was like, okay, this is really up his alley. Mm-hmm. And he fucking killed that shit. Like, like he, 50 bars at least, right? Had to have been. And then Sugar come in with that super fast flow and it's just like. Crazy thing is, is that like, um, like everything was solid. Like it was pretty cool. Sugar put that shit over the top. Like he, yeah. it, it, it could have been just a joint where I was just like, oh, okay, I kind of like rap site for one and four kind of better than. Two off the bat. Mm. This might been one of the best rap cipher verses, like uh, like for someone and, mm-hmm. and shit. Like, now nah, that shit was different. Um, he snapped. <laughs> he snapped. He, yeah. he just changed the whole integrity of the song. I'm not even being funny. He, he really <laughs> blitzed that shit, and like, I was just it, like, oh okay. It blitz. And I love that it was a build up. He didn't just like kind of go into it. Yeah, shit was I, I thought like he the, was, and he just kind of. It was chilling. He was like kind of tabbing, like doing some quick jabs and shit. And then it just was like. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yeah. Hit him with that. Yeah. When, when, Hope's, when Hope's verse came on, I was just like, yo, Hope is snapping on this. Like, people are really going to have to bring it, you know, to compare to this. And, and when did. RM got into his verse and the beat switched up and everything, and I was just like, like, I'm expecting, mind you, at least my experience with K-pop is, like, maybe six bars, maybe eight bars. You deliver a full 16. That's, like, god tier in and of itself. Mm-hmm. After about, you know, bar 20, bar 25 or something, I'm like, he's still going. Switch up the flow, switch up the cadence, everything kept progressing. And I felt like by the end of that, I mean, he had to have had at least a 50. Um, RM's verse probably stood out the most for me as far as just the the – Content in general, mm-hmm. but Shug was the absolute icing on the cake for sure. Like they all, it was such a progressive build to the end throughout, which which I loved because um, it felt like a real snowball effect. Like it felt like you know Shug was you know at the top and he was just kind of like just as you said, just kind of jabbing with his wordplay and everything like that. But then as he started, build you know, really momentum. like you could yeah. feel the m- momentum building mm-hmm. in his verse and just the fact that his voice didn't strain at all. You know, anything like that until that moment at the end, which, as you said, might have even been just <laughs> on purpose, you know, yeah. on purpose, just to draw a point. Feel the ambiance. Mm-hmm. The funny thing is, it kind of <laughs> sounded like yeah. Yeah. it kind of sounded right, like it kind of <laughs> sounded like one of those rap ad libs, like when you spit your verse and you're just like, ah, like I just mm-hmm. I snapped or whatever. But he kind of used that with the breathing thing, but. Man, when I've been in the studio, it, sometimes ni- niggas do it for a reason. Sometimes yeah, for it, a it adds a little bit more to the verse. It's, it's a, sometimes. it's like a you didn't gave you all, mm-hmm. and you just kind of left it on the track. Mm-hmm. That's the feeling. He's just like you in there with him. Like, I, the, the, yeah, me yeah. too, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, this too, sure. the engineer like this is my favorite rap. Mm-hmm. Song that's for, August D. Definitely. That wasn't sugar. I would have loved to see studio <laughs> footage. Studio footage of them laying these verses down. I need to see that. Like sugar just oh going. God. Oh, you want to you want to read the room and see if it was a one take, Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, definitely. Yeah, no, it was. They'll, they'll cheat. Can, they'll they'll it. cheat them inserts and stuff. Well, I've seen you get, uh, rappers over here do this. I've seen yeah. I've seen yeah. niggas the insert a whole everything. fucking sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But no, I, I want to know too because some other uncuts that we've seen from uh, like different people and shit, we've seen people kind of one take the breathiness and just. Like, da, 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 da. I hope that shit was on a one take. Not like it, the it, breath it, control it a little bit that they gotta have flair for that, bro. to the verse. I don't you see you being able to really <laughs> yeah. piece that together. Oh, you talking about where um, a, a cut would come in? Yeah, but Sugar just ran with oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Engineer just got to be the truth. Yeah, he got to be real nice. I mean, they would, how, like, especially. He would, basically, like, he would. They would chop would, at a certain bar and then tell you run it four bars back and right, then layer yeah, it, and, go and, and, it and go into and it when from he, there. When no, I get it, that. I just mean in that later part, like, when he really wasn't breathing. So, so when they like, cut it, they would yeah. expand it. Like, on a computer, they would mm-hmm. open it up so big that they yeah. can literally jump in the millisecond and then cut from the millisecond to the millisecond. You know what I mean? 
instead of having it like a small where you don't know where you kind of cutting and playing yeah. with the second. No, I get that. I get that it's possible. I just yeah, feel like it's it's, it's, it's no. Nah, if you, you felt if you felt the energy, then you might you might be give, feeling that like nah, that was one take energy. Sometimes you feel that one take energy. It felt. It felt yeah. it. You know, but um, that was just, yeah. this was a solid entry to to you what's going on and stuff. Because I um, that's this is my favorite rap three is him. I think I'm just you no know, album three is him. I think so. I don't. What happened? What album three is hitting on with, uh, for this? I don't. Weird thing is, I would say in the rap cipher verses that we had I experienced up to this part. Um, wait, we didn't do uh, part three yet, right? Or no, we, no. We only did part four, like, and then worked our way back. Dark and wild. Right? We around that already, huh? Yeah, they probably dropped these on the first couple yeah. of Jones, first couple of albums. Last thing I'm really going to say about this, at least, is just if they can deliver this kind of rap ability, mm-hmm. you know, much longer than a 16, that level of aggression and energy and just, you know, passion and all their voices and everything like that, like, I'm really curious to see what a rap album would just look like between them. Three. Mm-hmm. I'm like, go well, listen to the fucking first one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone in the show. It ain't the same. You know it ain't the same. Oh, well, I know. It's it ain't the same. <laughs> this ain't no more dream. Yeah, and that's and I guess that that's really what it was before the whole when we was talking to Jarek and uh, a little bit of low because I, I think you understood a little more when it just was like I. If you enjoy this, it's good to just enjoy it. Like you keep saying with the whole joint, like my old shit, buy my old album. Mm-hmm. Um. You definitely hear this and just like, damn, you kind of want a little bit more. What would it sound like now today? They grown, yeah. um, so it's just, mm-hmm. you know, well, nah, I'll yeah. take that with a grain of salt and just be like, well, can what is still just y'all kind of rapping mm-hmm. completely? Like y'all mm-hmm. don't have to sound. No, I don't I, even know nigga yeah. to sound like he sound in twenty fourteen or fifteen. There's no growth there. Um, no, that's exactly. that's not the point I was I was making. No, no, I, I know saying what you're saying, but um, basically what I was saying is like when you hear them have mainly six bars or eight bars in a, yeah. in a track and you're like, yo, they really snap. But like, just when you felt like you were getting that momentum, it switched up to someone else. And that's great for keeping kinetic energy going and introducing, you know, other elements and stuff like that. <laughs> but hearing them really just kind of have their own, you know, getting, like real moment to shine, that like just as rappers, like that was just yeah. artistically much more satisfying. Oh no, for, that's, that should always a treat. Cause yeah. Obviously, with like chicken noodle soup, with joke, with any of the August D shit, we know they all can do whatever the fuck they want by themselves. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, they, we, you know, we we've seen enough content at this point to kind of know any member by themselves can do whatever. Because mm-hmm. these niggas have got here, kind of like tracks by themselves doing shit. But like you said, Kurt, it is just a treat mm. together, just to be like, you get fifty bars, you get fifty, and you get fifty two. <laughs> and fun with your extra two. Yeah. Your ad libs. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna just breathe. I think I'll just breathe, breathe my last breathe two for those bars. Those last two bars. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that that shit is always a treat. Anybody else say anything they want to add to this? Show? Nah, nah Jones I fine. love that. Um, Sugar was saying the studio is my playground or whatever. The pen mm-hmm. and paper is um, play. Uh, my what about like play playmates? Yeah, like something bust on it. Like basically, like <laughs> just. Oh my god! He said one dollar. Every time I gotta go, I gotta get it. So to Jim and so to Jim and back there playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hear this 80 more times tonight. Yeah. Are you downloading it? Yeah. Is there a little bit? Okay. You gonna be acting different next reaction show. <laughs> we be like, yeah, Kurt, react. He be like, I don't give a fuck what you are doing, and I have it. Connect, 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 connect. This is definitely the type of John I feel like you would have to play like before, like if you were ever like a sports. Like players, I'm like you put this on before Shit, a game or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so cross your shit. Sorry, sports energy is high for me. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share. Like y'all to death, man. Y'all make this shit so fucking fun, yo. This is this is Boy like hand. the joy of my week. I like just being here with y'all. Army, yeah. y'all the realest niggas I know. Mm. Borderhead, Borderhead. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>